Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lakeisha and I am a volunteer facilitator for this afternoon's info session. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all New Jersey students sponsored by New Jersey Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time throughout the presentation. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at njacac.org slash virtual fair. And lastly, this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, njacac.org slash virtual fair. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenter. Thank you so much. Uh, so I will share my screen. All right, uh, so my name is Julia Frampton. I'm the undergraduate admissions counselor for New Jersey uh, for Iona College. So thank you so much for joining the session today. I know school year definitely busy as we enter October. So I really thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about Iona College. Uh, so before I get started, just wanted to give you a little information about me. I've been working at Iona for the past three years and I've actually always had New Jersey as my territory. What that means is that typically, uh, not in a pandemic year, but previously, I would come visit high schools all across New Jersey. I'd meet with counselors, with students. I'm the contact point for any students in New Jersey that are looking into Iona. And I'm also the person that reads applications at first for Iona. So definitely, if you're looking into us, I'm a good person to know. Uh, and that's why I'm really excited to get to do this presentation for you guys today. Uh, during my time working here at Iona, I also had a chance to earn my MBA, uh, my Master's in Business Administration, while I was working here during our accelerated program, so I'll tell you a little bit about that as well. And lastly, before I dive into the presentation, I did just want to let you guys know how, uh, you know, Iona College has been these first few months of the new school year. So uh, we were lucky to open up campus in the beginning of August. We moved up our start date so that we could move up the end date and end right before Thanksgiving. And so we've been safely on campus now for the past eight weeks, which we're really excited about. It's nice, even as an employee, to be on campus with other students walking around. And it really feels nice that we were able to offer a safe space for our students uh, and have even allowed, you know, high school students to come visit campus because of that as well. So I'll talk a little more about visit opportunities too, but just wanted to give you an idea of what Iona is looking like right now and what we intend for Iona to look like in the coming years for you guys that are seniors or juniors or sophomores. All right, so I always like to start the presentation by talking about why Iona. I'll give you guys some facts and statistics about us, why students end up choosing Iona, and I'll end the presentation with something similar as well. Uh, so one thing we're really proud of at Iona is that 93% of our students are employed or enrolled in graduate school six months after graduation. I'll definitely touch on how we're able to accomplish that. We have a 14 to 1 student faculty ratio, so it's really easy for our students to get to know their professors. Uh, their class sizes are small, around 20 to 25 students each. So students really get a chance to not only know their professors, but their other students in their classes as well. Last year, 100% of our students that were admitted received scholarships and financial aid, so we make the private education as affordable as we can. We're 30 minute train ride into Midtown Manhattan, so easy access to the city for internships, uh, but also for fun times as well. And this last year we were ranked 13th in the nation on money.com's magazine of the list of most transformative colleges. Uh, so we have so much to offer here at Iona and I'm excited to kind of dive in and let you know some more details about that. So a little history, we were founded in 1940 by the Edmund Rice Christian Brothers. So we are a private Catholic liberal arts college. Uh, Catholic school, our biggest uh, tradition within the Catholic 
uh, or the Catholic tradition is our commitment to service. A lot of our students get involved with service opportunities uh, all throughout their four years here, but it's not required. Students aren't required to be a certain religion or to get involved with service. Uh, we have students who come from over 40 countries, all different cultures and religions uh, to embrace that Iona spirit. And liberal arts, what that means is that before you guys go right into your major, you'll take some core classes. They're different than high school. It's not just the general English or general history. You get to choose classes within these broader subjects that would still interest you. And the reason that we do that is a few different reasons. Uh, one, we wanna make sure that you guys are taking classes outside of your major, because sometimes it helps students understand exactly what they wanna study and what job they want to have. So a student might go into college and say, I'm gonna study psychology. And then maybe they take a really, really, really great intro to biology class and they say, hmm, you know what, maybe I wanna go into the health sciences instead. So it's really helpful for our students in that capacity. Um, but we also have the liberal arts curriculum just to give you guys insight into the world around you. So we wanna make sure we're not just preparing you for your job, we wanna prepare you as a member of society. So we wanna have these classes to teach you communication skills, leadership skills, give you insight into areas of the world that you might not be familiar with just based on your one you know, career that you're going into. So here is a picture of campus, our campus map. And as you can see here, we're pretty compact. So in terms of student size, we're 3,000 undergrad students. Um, and our campus, you can walk from one end to the other in about 10 minutes. Um, if you're a faster walker, probably a little faster, it usually takes me about 10 minutes. Um, and as you can see, you don't have to walk across a bunch of different streets to get to your classes or your dorm. Everything that we offer at Iona is seen right here. Um, so definitely when you come on campus, you'll be able to see how compact everything is, but still everything that's available while you're on campus. Uh, we also have a few buildings which are featured here that are brand new. I'll get a little into that in the presentation, but I think it's important to note that Iona is a campus that is constantly growing. In this past year, we've had three different new building structures on campus. Um, so we are continually expanding here at Iona. This is a list of our academic programs. So as a liberal arts uh, college, we have the School of Arts and Science and the School of Business. Something unique that we do at Iona is that when you apply, you're not applying to a specific program, you're applying to the college overall. Uh, students their first semester get to take some core classes and then declare their major while they're at the school, uh, which just allows students the chance to get to know, um, you know, exactly what they want to study. And it also gives them a chance to take a few different classes first to make sure um, if they're undecided, it gives them some insight. Um, or if they know what they want to study, it just solidifies it. It helps the student make that final choice. Uh, some of our most popular programs here are communications, criminal justice, psychology, uh, as well as our School of Business, which has seven different majors within it. Uh, if there's a maroon square next to it, we have it as major. And if there's a gold square, we have it as a minor. So there's a lot going on on this slide. Um, so I just want to point out a few different things. So obviously our academic programs, um, on the side, you see college and program accreditation. So I know when I was looking at schools years ago, I did not know what that meant. And I feel like it's important to note in your college search, not just here with Iona, but wherever you're looking, um, to pay attention to accreditation. So basically, uh, our programs here apply to these larger organizations. And if we meet their qualifications, we receive an accreditation. Basically meaning the program is the best that it can possibly be. Um, so one we're really proud of here at Iona is our AACSB accreditation. It actually puts us in the top 10% of business schools internationally. Um, one example I always use is our NCATE accreditation, um, which is for education. So say you're studying uh, you know, secondary education, you're applying for a job once you graduate, your employer sees you went through an NCATE accredited program, that's gonna help you stand out as an employee. So it's something to always pay attention to when you're looking at schools. Something that we offer that's also on this slide are dual degree and joint degree programs. So when students come to Iona, we're obviously here to offer them their undergraduate degree and experience, uh, but we want to help prepare them for beyond that. So if students want to earn their master's degree or go towards their doctorate, right, we want to provide them those next steps uh, to help expand with that process. So one way we do that is with dual degrees. It basically offers students the opportunity to earn 
their bachelor's and their master's in those listed subjects here at Iona, and you're able to complete them in five years. Uh, so typically a master's degree takes two years, typically, um, but with these programs, we condense it into one year. So you're saving yourself a year of time and a year of money as well. I mentioned before that I did the MBA program here in one year, um, and those classes are offered at a night and online. So I was able to work here at Iona, you know, doing my job, while also earning that MBA at night and online. The other programs, the ones that are in our uh, arts and sciences are day programs, but nonetheless, you're able to complete that in one year as opposed to two. Uh, we also have joint degree programs, so two partnerships, one with the Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine in PA. They have a medical, pharmaceutical, and dentistry school. Uh, as well as a partnership with Seton Hall right over in New Jersey um, with, with their law program. So students can apply to those, those programs for direct entry once they complete their four years with us here to either go into a medical or a law program there. Uh, one exciting thing uh, that we have happening at Iona is the, we announced this past summer a nursing degree, which we're so excited about. We know nursing is a really popular field right now. And so we're so excited to be able to have a fully accredited nursing program at Iona. Um, we have and are in the process right now of completing our new state-of-the-art medical facility on campus. Um, so that's set to be complete by the end of next month. We have a partnership with Montefiore Hospital in New Rochelle, so our students can do their clinical experience and any sort of internships directly with that hospital. They don't have to find them themselves. And we also are test optional for our nursing program. Um, so one thing you'll definitely see is schools moving towards a test optional policy. We at Iona went test optional last year. I'll go a little more into what our policy looks like, but I think it's important when talking about nursing and the medical fields um, to know that we are test optional even in those as well. So for students pursuing nursing, um, we are looking really closely at the math and science grades in high school. We're making sure that students have taken uh, math and science all four years. And we're looking really closely at your letters of rec and your extracurricular activities. Um, so even though we're not focusing on that test score, there are other parts of your application we're focusing on a little more. Um, but we're really excited to include nursing in that test optional policy that we have here. Uh, so along with the new nursing facility, I mentioned before we have quite a few new buildings on campus. Um, so the nursing facility being one of them. One I'm most excited about is our Heinz Institute for Entrepreneurship, um, which is in the top left hand corner. So one of the new majors we have at Iona is a major in entrepreneurship, um, which is interesting. I think it's becoming a field for students that is becoming just increasingly more popular. Students like the idea of being their own boss. They have great ideas and they want to know how to execute them. Um, so we have this new major on campus, not just for students interested in business, but even for students in the School of Arts and Science as well. And to help support that major, we have this new institute on campus. Obviously, it's a place for students to have their classes, um, but it's also a place for the entrepreneurship club. And even for students who are already running their own businesses on campus, it serves as a workplace too. So you don't have to be running meetings from your dorms, for example. So um, it's a really cool new space and it's right on top of Spelman Hall, uh, which contains one of our main eateries. So it's right in the center of campus and it's accessible for students, whether they're in entrepreneurship or whether they're not. Um, we also have a brand new school of business on campus, which we have remodeled. Um, very cool, I hope you guys are able to come see campus soon because what they did was they took the original infrastructure of the building and added all these new features. So when you walk in the building, you very much feel this new building um, with history of the old building, if that makes sense. You definitely get that feeling when you walk into the building. Um, and what's nice is that this school of business obviously is for business classes, but a lot of core classes take place in there as well. And another new piece that we have on campus, um, we just recently renovated our arena for our athletics uh, so that we have 360 seating, which was very cool during basketball before you know, the season had was cut short. Um, so with these new infrastructures on campus, we're just constantly growing. We get a lot of donations from successful alumni who want to see Iona thrive. Um, so it's a really fun time to be at Iona right now. 
Um, and I do see that we have our first question. I should have stated this at the beginning. I'm going to get to all questions at the end um, just so that I can get through the presentation. But please do take advantage of the Q&A uh, as you're going through as well. All right, so for any students in high school, if you're taking honors or AP classes, you might be interested in our honors program. Um, so the way the program works is that students, uh, instead of taking the core classes I mentioned at the beginning, will have a specific honors core. Uh, those classes are seminar style, which is really interesting. Um, seminar style basically means that the students help teach the lessons, uh, which sounds very daunting at first, but ends up being really, really cool um, and helps students kind of become better presenters, better public speakers in the classes. Uh, the classes are also a little bit smaller as well. Uh, main benefits for the honors program, students get six free tuition credits uh, per academic year. Basically means that you can add an extra class onto your course load each year uh, or each semester, or you can save them and you know study abroad or take classes over your winter and summer break. Uh, another really big benefit is that students get to register for classes early and they also get priority housing, which is nice. Um, so there's a lot of benefits. What we look for the honors program, it's not a separate application. Just when we're reading the applications, if we see a student has a 3.5 GPA or higher, if they've submitted test scores, uh, they're required, they're not required um, of a 1260 or a 26 on the ACT or higher. Um, and we look for the AP and honors classes, we'll recommend them to our honors program. And then our honors director will go through them and decide, you know, who we would invite. Uh, so definitely, if it's something you're considering and get invited to, I really recommend being a part of it. It's a really nice little small cohort of students. So I mentioned before, 93% of our students are enrolled in graduate school or have a job in their field six months after graduation. A huge part of that are the availability of internships. Um, so going to school or having a school just outside of a major city is beneficial for many reasons. Um, but one of the biggest, I think, is that we're really established in the area. So companies, businesses are familiar with Iona and the interns we have sent them. And so a lot of times they'll reach out to professors here uh, or even just to our career development center and say, hey, do you, could you recommend an intern for this? Do you have a student that might be interested in this? And it helps our students get internships just a little bit easier, which is really nice. Uh, the other major benefit is that you get to take, you get to do your internships while you're taking your classes during the semester. You don't have to wait till your winter break, your summer break. Um, you get to do them during the semester, which is nice because when students move back home to the city, you know, over their winter and summer break, they're all vying for internships. They're all trying to get one. So you guys get to do it during the semester. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, these are some examples of internships that students have done over the past few years. And just to let you know, in terms of access to the city, uh, we are one mile away from the Metro North train station and we have a shuttle that buses students back and forth twice every hour. So you can easily get to the train station and then it's 30 minutes into Grand Central Station. Uh, so very, very easy commute. And then along with helping you guys get the internships, we also have a career development center. So they'll do networking events with students, basically inviting companies on campus for you to walk around, network with, give your resume to. They'll do job shadowing. They'll help you write your resume cover letter. Um, even last semester, they had a photographer come on campus and take pictures for your LinkedIn head, you know, headshot. So they'll do little things like that just to support you and help you get an internship and then a job once you graduate as well. Another layer of support that we offer at Iona is the College Assistance Program or CAP. Uh, so this is an optional fee-based program that offers support for students in high school if you had an IEP or 504 plan. It offers individualized tutoring twice a week for students that focus on self-advocacy skills organizational skills. Um, and then they also have advisement and priority registration, as well as a summer transition program. Um, the summer transition program for CAP is really cool. They actually invite students to come a week or so before the school starts and get students acclimated to campus before everyone starts to move in. Um, so beyond providing accommodations that are mentioned on the IOEP or 504 plan, uh, students in CAP are supported, not just in their classes, but in their res halls, um, as well as through activities, you know, through student life as well. 
So for most of my students in New Jersey, I would assume that you would be uh, living on campus, even for students who live in that northern part of Jersey. Crossing the bridge, not the most fun. I've done it as the counselor here many, many, many times. Um, so a lot of our students from Jersey live on campus. Uh, we do guarantee housing for all four years and we have seven different residence halls. Um, I'm not gonna just read through this list for you of them here, um, but all residence halls do include these things. Two most exciting for me would be definitely the free HBO Go account uh, and then the air conditioning. Every dorm on campus has student self-controlled air conditioning, um, which when students were moving in in August is a godsend, it's wonderful. So um, we do offer these uh, accommodations for the res halls. I'd like to point out here that something unique we do at Iona is that for freshmen, there are many different types of dorms that you can go for. Uh, so we have single rooms, we have doubles, triples, quadruples, as well as multi-person suites. Um, so you're not stuck to one sort of living as a freshman, you get quite a bit of variety. And as you get older, we also have apartments on campus too. So something really unique at Iona is our Division I athletics. Um, so though we're a small school or 3,000 undergrad students, we have these really large successful athletic programs. Um, so for example, our men's basketball team probably are most well known. Um, this past year did not make it to the NCAA, but the previous four years before that had made it to the NCAA championship. Our men's track and field team have won their past 28 MAC championships, um, which is the longest running streak in the NCAA, so which is really, really exciting. Um, and so what's nice is that whether you play a sport, and if you do, I definitely recommend we have recruiting forms on our website to fill out. So whether you play a sport or you just like to attend the games and watch sports, um, it's a really fun part of campus life because you get that huge school spirit, uh, but at a smaller campus environment. Um, I will say for my own personal experience, I'm not someone who typically watches sports, I don't play sports, um, but I have loved getting to attend the games with my coworkers because they're successful. So many students come out um, and you get to really feel that camaraderie with your fellow students and employees on campus. Um, so this is something I, I always get excited talking about uh, just because it's, it's something unique that we're able to offer at Iona at a smaller, a smaller scale. So I always tell students the best thing you can do in college is to get involved outside of the classroom. Obviously your success in the classroom is very important, getting good grades, doing your work on time, attending class, everything is so critical. Um, but I think it's just as important to get involved in activities and clubs and organizations outside of the classroom too. Um, there have been studies that students who are involved outside of the classroom are more successful in the classroom, which I know sometimes you might think the opposite, um, but it is actually true. So this is just some overview of the activities that students can get involved in here at Iona. Um, and I'll touch on a few of them in the next few slides, but we have academic and multicultural clubs, fraternity, Greek life. Um, we offer performing arts of so the Iona players. They put on two different musicals every year, as well as a few different plays. I'm a big musical person. I always attend them. They're really, really fun. Um, last year, they in March, actually, they put on Grease, which was awesome. Uh, we have a bagpipe band, which is interesting. If anyone plays the bagpipes, definitely let us know because we do offer even scholarship for students who play the bagpipes. If you want to learn the bagpipes really quickly, go for it. Um, but through that, we do have bagpipes that play at all of our major events. We offer ROTC, Army, and Air Force as well as intramural and club level sports. So if you don't wanna compete at the division one level, but you still wanna get involved, stay athletic, um, you can join intramural or club teams, um, which don't play at the you know, major competitive level of D1, but are still an organized part of campus. Um, something unique we offer too are a few different media groups. Um, so we have a TV station and a radio station on campus that students can access, obviously, in the communications major. Um, but beyond that, students can actually have their own, you know, radio show, even if they're not involved in the major at all. Um, so that's something kind of unique that you can get involved with, even if it's not your specific major. Um, so I'm just going to highlight some or two of the ones that were mentioned on there. Uh, so one is study abroad. I always mention this to potential students because 
one of my biggest regrets in undergrad was not studying abroad. I think if students have the chance to study abroad and you have that interest, I really recommend it because it's wonderful to get to travel, obviously, but to get to learn about something in the classroom and then step outside and be in what you were learning is amazing. So um, if you have an interest in studying abroad, uh, be open to that. I think it's something exciting. And we have quite a few programs at Iona. So we have semester long programs, spring break, as well as summer programs. Most popular semester program is Passport to Western Europe. Um, so students are able to study abroad for five weeks in Ireland, five weeks in France, and five weeks in Italy. It's three different universities, and you get to take a few different classes. Um, I wish I could do that right now. I'm ready to moderate at any time. Um, but what's nice with that is that students get a chance to take uh, to trips to other countries in the local area while they're on that trip. So students end up going to so many more than three countries on that trip. Um, the spring break trip, students take a class their whole spring semester, and then on the spring break, uh, go away on the trip together. So you're already familiar with who's gonna be on the trip. And then summer programs usually range from a few weeks. Uh, so these are the ones that we currently offer. Something nice about going to a smaller school is that these are frequently shifting. Um, so we're always adding new trips just depending on the professor and the university availability abroad. Um, so again, something to always be open to, um, you know, wherever you end up going to college, be open to study abroad. It's, it's going to be cool. And then the other thing I like to highlight from the Get Involved slide is our Office of Mission and Ministry. So I mentioned before, a really big part of our Catholic tradition is commitment to service. Students get involved in so much service here at Iona. Uh, we have an average of students completing almost 89,000 service hours each year. And a big part of that is we do 18 different immersion trips on five different continents. Um, so we have you know, local trips, Texas, Florida, Puerto Rico, Virginia, um, but we also have trips internationally. So um, Peru, Zambia, South Africa, India, um, and each of these trips is a different project that students go on, but it's a nice chance to gather with your fellow students um, in prayer and in service for an extended period of time to really hopefully make an impact on where you travel to. So um, there's something really that a lot of students get involved in. And we also have community service projects, 10 of them in our local area that students can also do um, during the semester if they wanna stay local as well. So the last bit that I'm really gonna talk about is our application process. I kind of went through a lot about Iona. Just wanna tell you how to apply, especially for any seniors that are in the room right now. Um, so we are Common App exclusive, and what we're looking for is your high school transcript, uh, two letters of recommendation, so one from your counselor and one from your teacher. I will say, if you have more than that, send them in. I will read them. I'm the one who initially reads your application. Um, so if you have, you know, a coach, uh, someone from, you know, a service-oriented uh, place, send any of them in. I'll be happy to read them. Uh, we also require the essay that's through the Common App, and SAT or ACT scores are totally optional. Um, so we are completely optional in the fact that we don't consider SAT or ACT scores for any merit scholarship. We base your merit scholarship off of your GPA. Um, so the only time that sending an SAT or ACT score could be beneficial is if you're thinking about the honors program. Again, though, it's not required. Um, so, you know, of course, if you have any questions about the SAT, ACT, let me know. I know it's been a big frustration, especially in New Jersey. I've been hearing from counselors and students that a lot of them are getting canceled and everything like that. So feel free to ask away with the test optional policy. Um, and in terms of our deadlines, early decision, which is a binding decision, uh, is December 1st. If you apply early decision, you can only apply to us early decision, um, and it is contractually binding. Uh, with students apply December 1st, we send out their decision December 15th, so very quick turnaround time. Uh, early action is non-binding, and this is the, the deadline I always recommend. Um, it's December 15th. When you apply early action, it just means that you'll be hearing from us much sooner. So students who apply December 1st hear back from us in the middle of January. It's a very quick turnaround time. It gives you a fair amount of time to know uh, or to find to make that final decision on where you're going to go. And then if you need more time, we have regular decision and that is February 15th. Um, so any questions about this application process, 
feel free to type them in. I'm happy to answer them. And then just a little bit about financial aid and our fees. Uh, so all applicants are considered automatically for merit scholarship. And like I said, 100% of students last year received some sort of scholarship or financial aid. So 100% of students last year didn't pay our full tuition and room and board. Um, and last year we awarded $52.7 million in scholarship. So we're always trying to make the private education as affordable as possible. Uh, another thing is that FAFSA became available October 1st. So if you want to apply for any additional aid, uh, for any need-based aid, just make sure to have that FAFSA filled out. I always say the sooner the better um, because you can, once you fill it out, you can just keep adding schools. You don't have to refill it out. Uh, so it's just one fewer thing to worry about once you have that filled out. So I mentioned before this why I own a slide. Um, and I always like to come back to it kind of to wrap up what we had talked about already or what I had talked about. Um, you know, definitely with 93% of our students in a job when they graduate or grad school uh, is due to proximity to the city, the small class sizes, the financial aid that we offer are all really great reasons why I think I own is amazing, why I work here, why I love working here. Um, but I think it's important to also talk about what students the past years in New Jersey have told me about why they ultimately picked Iona. Um, and so these are just to sum up, there's, you know, I've had a lot of conversations with them. Uh, some of the main points I just wanted to share with you guys. So uh, one of the ones I hear a ton is that it's a small campus that's full of big opportunities. So sometimes they think, oh, 3,000 students, could that be too small? Sometimes they'll see, oh, campus is only a 10 minute walk. Would that not have enough? Um, and students have continually found and told me uh, that though it's a small campus, it's brimming with opportunities. Each building has a million things they can get involved with. Um, and even, you know, we have over 450 activities a year, literally more than one a day. So there, there's literally always something happening on campus and students appreciate that opportunity even at a smaller school. Um, something that students in New Jersey love about Iona is that we're not too far, but we're not too close. So depending on where you are in New Jersey, um, you could be 40 minutes away, you could be two and a half hours away. But nonetheless, it feels like a distance for students that feels separate enough, it's in another state, it's usually in a different environment, uh, but it's close enough to home that you could easily get home in a day trip, right, if you need to. Um, so students really appreciate that kind of distance. They love the school spirit. So I know students a lot of times when they go to college are looking for um, that big school spirit, that big feeling when they go to athletic events that larger schools provide, um, but we're able to provide that with the smaller campus, um, which students really appreciate. They love the proximity to the city, which I think a lot of people in New Jersey are familiar with being close to New York City. Um, so it's something that feels familiar to them, uh, but they love the easy access, not just for jobs and internships, but to get, you know, discounted Broadway show tickets to go to sporting events, to go spend the day in Central Park, right? Um, they love that close proximity to a major city. Uh, and something I hear all of the time is that when they walk on campus with their size, you see a lot of familiar faces, um, but it's not like you know every single person's name on campus. Um, so you still are continually meeting new people, but you're able to walk into your dorm and know who's sitting at the security desk at 3 p.m., right? You're able to go to our cafeteria and know who's serving you. You get to walk into your class and know who's in your same major as you that takes a lot of your core classes with you, right? It's a lot of familiarity um, that's very comforting to students and has led a lot of students to feel like Iona is their second home. Um, so they, I've been, I hear that all the time when they step foot on campus, they really felt like Iona was a second home to them. Um, and so that's why I always, always encourage coming to visit campus too, uh, just because a lot of times you can get that feeling basically as soon as you walk onto the campus, um, which is why I'm just going to end uh, to, by talking a little bit about how we've been able to do our visits on campus. I mentioned before we were able to open. Um, so we've been doing since August, a safe one-on-one -on -one socially distanced tour. So students just have to sign up beforehand and then you're able to come on campus. You're, each family is paired with one tour guide and you get to do a walkthrough of campus. You get to see a dorm, a classroom, our eateries, everything. Um, and we offer them seven days a week. So there's plenty of times available. They're all listed here um, and they can also be found right on our website too. 
Uh, and so I'm just going to end by saying, you know, thank you so much for tuning in, for watching this again, if you're watching it later. Um, I, I really am happy to get to talk to my New Jersey family um, and tell you about Iona. And I really hope we get to connect soon as well. Um, if you have any questions, take down my information, you know, write it down, take a picture of it, whichever. Um, and feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to connect with you. Um, and I will just answer. I see we have one question. If anyone has uh, any other questions, please do let me know. Um, okay, so one question I got was, are you test optional with the joint degree program? Um, so I talked about that before as well with our joint degree, either with Seton Hall um, or with LECOM. We are test optional with those as well. Um, so with those programs, they do have different requirements if you're test optional. So for example, you'll likely keep a higher GPA here if you decide to go test optional for the joint degree programs, but you can apply to both of them test optional. Any other questions? Uh, well, one definitely feel free to take down my information. Um, shoot me an email with any questions that you might have. I'm more than happy to answer them. And thank you so much again for joining the session today. Thank you again for joining us and thank you to our presenter. Um, just a few more quick announcements. After you close the window of today's session, a very quick four question survey will appear. We would greatly appreciate if you can fill that out for us. Again, there are other sessions happening throughout the program. So check out the schedule at njacac.org slash virtual fair. And lastly, this session was recorded and you will be able to go back at any time in about a week to watch this session and all other sessions at the same website, njacac.org slash virtual fair. Thank you for joining us. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.